Hey everybody, Patrick here with Crash Games. A very exciting day today. Uh, the FedEx driver, after a crazy mix-up in Anchorage, Alaska yesterday, dropped off a box with the advanced preview copies of Council of Verona. So I'm going to film a unboxing video for you here because I already have a couple tutorial videos up on our YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't subscribe to that, you're going to want to do that because we're going to be giving away some stuff to people that both subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. So make sure you do both of those things. Um, so the first thing you're going to notice is the Kickstarter copies are going to come with a little green sticker that say KS on them, just so that uh, you know you got all the extras and all the goodies come inside this box it's not, that are not in the normal retail box. So we got the, uh, the shrink wrap here. We'll get that off. And you won't really be able to tell on camera, but there's a nice nice linen finish here on the box and like with all the crash games boxes very sturdy very thick and white line so those are just things that i believe in as a as a publisher and that i'll never cut corners on so the first thing we have here is we have the poison expansion uh, so there's going to be a sticker sheet uh, back here in this and that's going to be in the top there and a little bit wider on the bag there. So there is the sticker sheet and the rule sheet for the Poison Expansion. Not a lot of rules for the Poison Expansion, but just a couple pages to make sure you know how the, difference, the different uh, tokens play. And there's the actual discs uh, for the Poison Expansion there. So some good stuff going on there. Next, we have um, all the cards for the game. We have the discs uh, for the base game. Now these discs, um, this was a, a real manufacturing challenge. Council of Verona is a game with hidden information. So one of the things that I had to kind of pay a little extra for out of pocket um, was to get these laser cut. And what that means is that it's cut by laser versus a normal machine cut where they load a dowel and it kind of slices off like, like bread. These are laser cut so that there isn't any shape difference between the discs. The last thing I would want someone to do is to know that, oh, the blue player's five is on a sort of oblong disc. Sometimes you can't help but notice it, but sometimes you can. So in order to completely circumvent that potential, um, these are laser cut wood. So we have that going there. You got an extra bag if you want to keep your cards in here. Um, some people sleeve, I don't sleeve. You'll see that the cards will line up in there sideways if you'd like, um, or you could put your discs in there as well. So we got the cards there, we tip this over. And one of the things that I'm most happy about um, is the player aids. You're gonna see these are super, super thick player aids. And on the front and back, you have the list of all the roles uh, that you could, you, all the cards in the game, all the different roles that you're playing. And there's enough in there for, for each player. So there's five of these in there. And this will help somebody on their first couple plays as they try to remember what each role does or what each character does. Um, once you've played a couple times, you'll know, but for beginners, this can be really helpful. And it's a nice reminder because you can go, oh, maybe this card isn't out yet and you'll be able to check it out. So um, nice rule book here. Of course, part of our pub series, our first game in the pub series. And nice little rule book here with some exp uh, explanation. Got the setup telling you the turn sequence also goes through and breaks down all the characters, the Capulets, the Montagues, the Neutrals, and then that's the rule book. And here you have the sticker sheet. Now, one of the things that, that I'm noticing, um, unfortunately here, and I'm always gonna be honest with you guys, is there, there is a little bit of a, of a color issue. Sorry, I just bumped the camera there. A little bit of a color issue between the main stickers and the poison stickers. Um, I know a lot of people have expressed concern about not wanting to sticker both sides of their disc, um, but only wanting to sticker the numbers. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you only sticker one side of the discs, that you only sticker the 0345 and the poison and the antidote and just leave the Council of Verona logos alone. Um, this wasn't supposed to happen, and unfortunately it did. So. 
Um, you can see, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, there's a, a tan difference and then the V is a little darker in the base game than it is on the logo. Unfortunately, this was not on our end. We uploaded the, the same colored files. This happened in manufacturing, but uh, our manufacturer did a great job on everything else in the game. So this is sort of a, a small thing. Uh, doesn't really affect pay playability. And a lot of people had expressed not wanting uh, to put the V logo on the other side anyways, because then you got to kind of make sure did it did it go straight? Is it cockeyed? You know, it's a lot easier just to do the bottom side stickers. So those are the stickers there. Uh, one of the things that Kickstarter backers may be really excited about is the bag here. Uh, this is the Council of Verona bag, and you'll notice, and this is one of the things I'm most proud of, that the lace in the bag is actually red and blue to represent the Capulets and the Montagues. And we got the Verona logo on there, the Crash Games logo, and this bag um, will be a nice option if you'd rather leave uh, your box at home and just take the cards and the tokens out on the go. A lot of people, um, I support a lot of people in the military and the bags are a great, great option for when they're on uh, leave. I have a friend that's an officer in the Navy. Uh, he has a copy of Rise that he puts in the bag and so he'll be excited that Verona came with the bag uh, as well. So that's pretty much it. You have uh, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, I do have a copy that I opened a bit earlier because these cards are, are shrunk wrapped and they're a little tight and I don't want to make you suffer through, but I am very, very excited with the card quality. This is actually a Japanese ivory core. This is a brand new card stock um, that wasn't previously available with my manufacturer. And it is a super thick um, but flexible card stock and these have a linen finish on them as well. So you're really gonna be excited with how nice these cards uh, feel in your hand and maybe you pledged extra for the zombie Romeo and Juliet card. So there are those. So I mean manufacturing wise only a one minor mistake that's easily easily fixable but otherwise the game just came out phenomenal. We've added the uh, card art from the original town onto the back of the cards that really make them pop. Really, really happy with how they came out. So uh, if you missed out on the Kickstarter, you can pre-order. Uh, go to the Crash Games website, crashgamesaz.com. You're going to want to stay tuned to our Facebook page. We'll be announcing the details uh, for our contest. We'll also do so on Twitter. Um, until then, thanks so much for watching, and uh, thanks for supporting Council of Verona.